Despite the ending of Netflix's The Watcher being ambiguous, enough clues point to John Graff, who also killed his family, being the letter writer. The Watcher on Netflix leaves viewers with unanswered questions, but the show strongly suggests that John Graff is the titular letter writer. The Watcher follows the Brannock family as they move into their ideal home in Westfield, New Jersey, only to start receiving typewritten letters with threats against them and personal information. The Watcher is loosely based on a true tale. Although the series presents a number of credible suspects, John Graff, the previous owner of the house, is the most likely candidate to be the Watcher. Graff supposedly fled the village after killing his entire family there in 1995, but not before removing his face from all of the family portraits. Only one police file could be used to support the murders, and no news coverage was ever given to them. Contextual hints clearly suggest that a person going by the name William is both the real John Graff and the titular Watcher, despite the murder's position as an urban legend and the Watcher's ending being unclear. Why John Graff came back to 657 Boulevard, of all the potential suspects presented in the Watcher, in the end, John Graff is the only one with the insidious combination of means, motive, and unencumbered opportunity. The series establishes that 657 Boulevard has an ethereal power over people. Tormented by his dysfunctional home life and an emasculating public persona, Graf slaughtered his family, and it's possible he never actually left 657 Boulevard because he couldn't bear to do so. Graf could have continued living in the secret room underneath the house, forged a partnership with Pearl, and made her complicit in the letter writing a woman had licked the envelopes and a woman in pigtails similar to Pearl's was caught on camera in Dean's bedroom. Eventually, Graff would have been able to get a job at the public library under the pseudonym William. As he had cut his face from every photo, only longtime residents could have conceivably recognized him. Why John Graff was probably the watcher. John Graff is noted for his unsettling disposition, but among the Watcher's eclectic cast of characters, his creepiness is not an anomaly, hardly making him the most likely suspect. There also remains another issue against the idea of Graf being the Watcher. He too received letters. In Theodora's retelling of the story, Graf was tortured over these letters, dreading even opening the mailbox on the chance he might find another correspondence. However, this version of events was purely speculative, since Graf never told anyone about the letters, instead leaving them to be found along with his family. Graf's watcher letters were also slightly different from the Brannocks. While the Brannock letters focus on the house and the family's movement within the home, as depicted in the Netflix true crime series, the watcher in Graf's case somehow watched the home during the day, followed his daughter when she would sneak out, and knew that he was fired from his job in the city. Even for the Watcher, this level of insight would be impossible unless Graf himself was writing the letters, either to establish a motive for killing his family or as a symptom of his fracturing psyche. With that being the logical case, combined with other clues, the Watcher points to John Graf as probably being the true titular terror.